All right, let's try integrating this definite integral. This one looks a little bit complicated that we have a big fraction going on. We have a natural log. We've got decimals as far as our um, bounds of integration, but it's really not gonna be that bad. So first of all, what I'd like to do is just rewrite this. So it gets a little bit more organized and I think it'll make more sense if we say, bring the two fifths out in front, constants can come out in front, keep the same bounds of integration for the time being, but then thinking about what we still have in there, natural log of three X divided by X. We can split this apart and think natural log of three X multiplied by one over X DX. Okay, so think about that. If we wanted to put these back together, we can visualize natural log of three X as being over one. If you combine these back together, you get the natural log of three X in the numerator, the X in the denominator, and that two fifths came out in front. All right, from here, let's do a U substitution. So we're gonna let U equal, in this case, I think it's best to let it be the natural log of three X. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get DU equals, well, the derivative of natural log is one over three X, but we're gonna to have to use the chain rule. So we're gonna multiply by the derivative of the inside is gonna be three, put a DX with it. And then this is gonna reduce down slightly that we can say DU equals, well, three in the numerator, three in the denominator, one over X DX. Well, that works out really nicely that we have one over X DX right here. So we're gonna replace that with DU. All right, and then the natural log of three X, that's gonna get replaced with a U. So let's rewrite this in terms of U. So we have two fifths comes along from out in front, the integral symbol. We substitute that U in for natural log of three X. And then we get to put a DU in for the one over X DX. Now, the other thing we wanna be a little bit careful of is our bounds of integration. So our bounds of integration Initially, these were X values. We wanna change them over to U values. So to do so, I'm gonna go back to our uh, let statement where we said U is equal to the natural log of three X. And we're gonna substitute in natural log of three multiplied by 1.3 will be the natural log of, sorry, that looks a little bit messy. This is natural log of three times 1.3, which will be 3.9. And then this one, we're gonna substitute in the 0.7. So three multiplied by 0 0.7. Again, maybe just parentheses around that, which would be the natural log of 2.1. And we'll use those as our bounds of integration. All right, next, let's go ahead and integrate. We haven't done that yet. So the two fifths comes along we're gonna go U, it was raised to the first power here, so we're gonna use the power rule and increase the exponent by one, and then multiply by one over our new exponent out in front. And this will be evaluated between natural log of 2.1 and the natural log of 3.9. All right, as far as simplifying down, these twos get to cancel out, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So we can cancel those out they make a one. So this will reduce down to one over five U squared evaluated at these bounds. All right, what's left is we need to substitute these bounds in. So as we substitute in, it's going to be natural log of 3.9, but it's squared, minus the natural log of 2.1 but it's squared as well inside a big set of parentheses. And that's a nice exact answer, uh, as perfect as you can get for this one. All right, so um, take your time. If we can use simple U substitution, uh, do that as opposed to say integration by parts, if at all possible. All right, good luck. Hope this helps.